on this channel. I have taught English while playing Minecraft and Skyrim, which are both games where you can explore in nature. Well, today I'm going to be playing a game that is completely different. In this video, I'm going to teach you English while also teaching you how to be a pro skater in My name is Kenzo and this is English from the ground up. Let's go. Oh, geez. All right, so today we're going to learn some English while skating around some of the different parks in Tony Hawk Pro Skater. And we're going to start with this skate park. This skate park is called Warehouse. A warehouse is like a huge building where goods are stored. And this warehouse looks pretty old and beaten down. I can see a lot of garbage on the floor and some cones. There are some street cones right here. I can also see some boxes. It looks like some wooden boxes. And I can hear some electricity close by. Oh yeah, it's the light up there. So look at that light. It's bursting with electricity sometimes and that seems a little bit unsafe. I can see graffiti all over the walls. See the graffiti here and here and right here. There's lots of graffiti on the walls. All right. I'm going to skate through this wall right here. But first, I'm going to jump up this way. Here we go. All right, so here we are. This is the warehouse. This is a huge building and this warehouse looks empty. I don't see lots of supplies in here. It looks pretty much empty. There's a rail right here, a red rail. You can skate on top of the rail. Watch this. There we go. Did you see me skating on top of the rail? There's a red truck outside and I can also see some leaves out there. I can see some puddles of water on the floor. There's a reflection. There's a reflection of the windows down there in the puddle of water. In real life, if you skate through water, it can harm your skateboard. So in real life, it's not a good idea to skate through water. Mm -mm. Let's skate up here. Oh, more graffiti on the walls and some more wooden boxes. I skated into the boxes. Whoa, what's going on here? I'm standing inside a wooden box. Hmm. I'm going to do a trick when I go back down. Watch this. I crashed. That was bad. That looked like it would have hurt. I'm going to skate into that orange cone. Watch. There it goes. <laughs> I launched the cone. Boom, boom. On the rail. Yeah. 
All right. What is this? What is this right here? This is a car, but not just any car. This is a pizza car or a pizza delivery car. I can tell that this is a pizza delivery car because of the sign on top of the car. It says pizza, but now this car looks broken. It doesn't look like this car can be driven anymore. Mm -mm. And this is a good opportunity for me to teach you the first rule of being a pro skater. Mm -hmm. You see, to ordinary people, this is a pizza delivery car. But to me, a pro skater, this is an opportunity to do a cool trick. Watch. So to normal people, that's just a car. But to me, it's a jump. But to me, but to me, it's a cool ramp to do a jump. The first rule of being a pro skater is that everything is your skate park. Everything. This rail right here is part of my skate park. This ramp is part of my skate park. Even just this flat wall can be used when skating. Watch. Everything can be used to skate. In this skate park warehouse, there is a secret room right there. And I'll show you how to get there. You have to skate down here really fast. Watch. And jump. Here we are. Oh, I fell down. Try number two. Here we are. This is the secret room. In this room, there is a fire exit. I don't think that this is a very good place for a fire exit because it's very hard to get up here. I can also see a camera right there. All right, I'm going to go back down. I'm going to skate through this wall. There we go. I think that I've shown you just about everything in this skate park warehouse. So now it's time to move on to the next skate park. All right, here we are, the second skate park. This skate park is called school because, well, obviously it's a school. <laughs> I can see an American flag up there and that's because this school is in Miami. Miami is a city in the United States. Right now, I'm standing on top of a roof. I can see the sun up there. The sun is out and there are lots of clouds up in the sky. I'm going to jump off of the end of this ramp. Here we go. Some birds. Yes! All right. So here we are. I can see some trees. There are some trees. Whoa. Some garbage. This is a table, a picnic table. Let's see. There are some bushes. Whoa, were those butterflies? 
Butterflies. There are some butterflies here in this bush. Okay. This, this right here is the gym. And now I'm going to go inside the gym. Through the doors. Now we're inside the gym. And in the gym, there are basketball courts. This is where people play basketball. These are basketball hoops, and this is the basketball court. This line right here, this line is the three-point line. If I was playing basketball and I shot the ball and made it behind this line, I would get three points. But if I shot and made the basketball inside this line, I would only get two points. Up here, these are the bleachers. This place is called the bleachers. And this is where all of the seats are for people to sit down and watch the basketball games. When I was in school, my school's gym looked just like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go back down. This up here, that is the scoreboard. That is used to take score. The scoreboard. <laughs> Let's go back here. These are mats that are used for wrestling. <laughs> These are wrestling mats. There are more basketball hoops back here. Let's keep going. This is a balancing beam, a balancing beam. And this is used in gymnastics. And this is another good opportunity for me to give you another pro skater tip. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go outside to give you this next tip. Just like in gymnastics, when skating, you need balance. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to balance. If I go too far to the left, I fall down and crash. If I go too far to the right, again, I fall down and crash. In order to skate like a pro, you need to be able to balance in the middle. Mm -hmm. Balance. Balance is another key to being a pro skater like me. It's another picnic table. And again, I can see some garbage on this table. I can see a lunch bag and also some cans of soda. The people at this school don't like to throw away their garbage. <laughs> Balance. These are rock climbing walls. They're for climbing. Mm -hmm. The ground is really colorful right here. It's really colorful. There's some green, some red, yellow, purple, blue. The ground is very colorful right here. I'm going to skate over the bridge. There are lots of birds up there on the telephone wire. Aha, this is a bell. When school is finished, this bell rings. Ding, 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 ding. Watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna skate up here. 
there are lots of chalk drawings right here. There's the sun and some clouds. Oh. Here are some games of tic-tac-toe. Mm -hmm. This game is called tic-tac-toe. And in this game, you have to line up three in a row. Some fish right here and a crab. There's an island. I'm standing on top of an island. Over here, there's a boat. Whoa, it's hopscotch. This game is called hopscotch. And over here, there are swimming pools, but right now there's no water in them. There were some birds down here in the swimming pool. Go shrimps! I think that the mascot for this school is the shrimp. Here in the United States, schools will often have what's called a mascot. Mascots are usually an animal that represents the school. When I was in school, my school's mascot was a Mustang. Over here, these are the pool rules. Mm -hmm. And the only rule that I can read on this list is no diving. Mm -mm. It's not allowed to dive into these pools. But pro skaters never follow the rules. Dive! <laughs> There's some artwork up there. I like this artwork. It's also very colorful. Ooh, another picnic table, but on this picnic table, there is a pizza box. Mm -hmm. And also some cans, some soda cans. Let's go up here. I love how in this game, I can skate uphill without having to push. <laughs> All right, now I'm up on the roof. There's some steam coming out of this vent. Whoa, what's this? There are some birds over there. I can see three birds. Oh, I scared them away. Those birds were looking down here into the gym. Okay, I have an idea. I'm going to try to jump across rooftops. Here we go. Let's go. I did it. I jumped across rooftops. Wow. There's even garbage up here. How did people manage to get garbage up here on the roof? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back down. Whoa. Another bell. All right. Where are we now? Whoa. Okay. Let's look at this. There are a bunch of trash bins right here. I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
15 trash bins right here. A rat. All of these trash bins, and they still couldn't manage to put the garbage inside the trash bins. <laughs> There's garbage all over the floor here. I can see a bike right here, and I can hear some flies buzzing around. Bzzz. Listen. Flies love the garbage. Oh, these are lawn chairs. This kind of chair is called a lawn chair because you usually use these chairs outside on the lawn. I can see a ladder back there and some pipes. Another ladder. There are two ladders here. Okay, I think I'm going to end this video right here. I showed you around two of the skate parks and gave you some tips, some tips to help you become a pro skater. If you liked this video, you could click the like button or subscribe to my channel by clicking up here. And if you want to continue learning, you could watch my last video by clicking down here. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. See ya.